Hey everyone, so I'm working on a special project and I picked up an Arduino Mini and this thing is incredibly small. If you see here compared to the Uno, that there is quite a size difference. But this is going to be for a special project, but you can see it doesn't come with header pins. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up the header pins and then I'm going to show you how to program uh, the Arduino Mini because it doesn't have a USB port. I'm going to show you how to program it using an Arduino Uno or some other uh, device that has a USB input. So first, let's get to soldering on the header pins. So I bought a pack of 2.54 millimeter header pins. It's your standard size headers. You can see that it goes on the Arduino Mini with no problems. So what you do is you figure out how many pins you need, and then you can cut off those pins, as you can see down here. So as you can see, I've put them into the breadboard so that when I put the, the mini on it, it fits right on. And that way, this the breadboard will hold the header pins upright, so I don't have to worry about the headers being misaligned or any of that. The breadboard will take care of that for me. So now that I have the Arduino in, I can start soldering it up. So when you're soldering on header pins, you're looking for a nice little volcano of solder connecting the pins together. So you can see here that there's nice little beads connecting the pin to the board. But two things you want to look for, um, two little problems that might arise when you're soldering on. You have things like this, so two joints connected together by solder. And then you have what's called a cold join, which is one that isn't... That, you definitely put solder on, but it may not be a very strong connection. You can see that it's not really a mound, a little volcano of solder. It has been tinned, but it may not be a strong connection. So in order to fix that, you just grab your soldering iron, and you just apply a little bit more solder to the joints. So you can see here. And now that's cold join, or that cold joint is no longer there. It is a nice solid connection. And then in order to take care of two pins that may have connected together, you can just take your soldering iron and if you don't have any solder wick you can try to remove it just by heating up the solder and removing it from the middle of the connection there. You can see there we have cleaned up that connection and those two pins are no longer joined together. So there we go, we have a successfully soldered header pins on this Arduino Mini. So now that the header pins are soldered on, the next step is to get uh, programs on the Arduino so that we can actually you know, program it. Since this doesn't have a USB uh, input, we're going to connect it up to, I have an Arduino Uno here, and we're going to use its USB connection in order to talk with the Arduino Mini. So the first step in order to do that is we need to remove this chip. That way when we send the program through, it doesn't also program the Arduino Uno. So I'm just going to take a screwdriver and we're going to pry up this chip as gently as possible. We want to go from both ends in order so that we don't damage, there we go, so we don't damage the, the pins on this chip. And it should just slide out of this socket. There we go. We have the chip out of the Arduino Uno. And now we can start wiring up um, the Arduinos together so that we can talk using this USB port. So I have everything wired up here. It's kind of hard to see in this view. It's a lot easier when you have a, a schematic to look at. But basically what's going on is I have the red and black pins connected to power. So it's five volts and then ground. And then I have the TX and the RX pins connected from the Arduino Mini directly to the TX and RX on the Arduino Uno. Also I have this green wire which is connected from the reset pin on the Mini to the reset pin on the Uno. And then finally over here, the program that I'm going to test with is the standard blink program. So I have a uh, just a jumper going from pin 13 on the Mini to an LED then a resistor back to ground. So hopefully when I connect this up I can send the program from the Arduino IDE and program it on the Mini. So let's give that a try. So you can see here that the uh, the LED flashed three times meaning that it got power. So that's great. 
So this is all connected up. So now it's time to send the program and see if it will work. Now it is uploading. And there we go, success. We have the Arduino Mini powering this LED bulb. So that means that our circuit is working correctly and I can now program the Mini using the Arduino Uno. Uh, see in the link below for the actual sketch for this because the schematic is a lot easier to follow than these. But thank you guys for watching. Like the video if you liked the video and be sure to subscribe to see what I actually use this Arduino Mini for. It's going to be a fun project. So subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching Hoffman Engineering.